My makeup does not transfer. The worst feeling is having makeup on and hugging somebody only to look back and seeing your makeup on their shirt. It's so embarrassing. But with this technique, I'm able to achieve a transfer-proof makeup look that stays on your skin and doesn't transfer to my pillows, my clothes, and even other people. But it's not only about the technique that you're using. It's also important to remember that the makeup products that you're using plays a huge role in making your makeup not transfer, as well as the technique and the steps. So it's very important to choose makeup products that are specifically designed to resist transfer. So the first step is using a primer, but not just any primer. You want to use a primer that acts as a glue for your makeup to make sure that the makeup stays on your skin and not anywhere else. An excellent example of this kind of primer is this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I use this almost every day if I'm going for a super long lasting makeup look. And that's the reason why this primer is very, very popular is because it's considered a really good long lasting primer so it keeps your foundation from the attached to your skin because it creates a strong bond between your makeup and your skin preventing any smudging or transferring to other places it's no wonder this primer has become extremely popular because of its long-lasting properties personally I prefer the milk hydro grip primer to other cheaper alternatives because it's extremely hydrating so it locks hydration in my skin with the makeup it's also really great for all skin types because it doesn't contain any oils it's just purely hydrating but if you're somebody who doesn't want to spend $30 on a primer, then a really good alternative would be the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer because it also has the gripping effect. It's also really hydrating and it's also going to give you a really nice long lasting makeup look. The next thing you want to do is find a good long wearing transfer proof foundation. These types of foundations last longer on your skin than like dewy or radiant foundations because of their ingredients and formulation. So they usually contain polymers that create a strong bond with your skin. This type of bond helps your foundation adhere to your skin better and it's gonna resist transfer or smudging onto other places unlike dewy foundations that have more of a lightweight moisturizing formula transfer proof foundations have a slightly thicker consistency this thicker texture helps create a barrier between your skin and the environmental factors such as like sweat and oiliness allowing the foundation to stay put without easily rubbing off also transfer proof foundations have oil controlling properties so this this means that it can help reduce the excess oil production on your skin while you have your makeup on, which can help increase the longevity of your makeup. So by reducing the oiliness, the foundations are less likely to break down or shift on your skin throughout the day, keeping your makeup intact and transfer proof. So when searching for a transfer proof foundation, you want to look for those that are labeled as long wearing, sweat proof, transfer resistant, or even waterproof. The Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation is one that I would recommend because it's formulated to stay on your skin for a really long time without transferring or breaking down. This means that you don't have to worry about constantly touching up your makeup throughout the day. You can trust that the foundation is actually going to stay in place even in really challenging conditions like hot or humid weather. So once you've applied your concealer and other cream products like blush and contour, you want to set it with a matte setting powder to help increase the longevity and the transfer proof properties of your makeup. So the type of powder you want to opt for is a finely milled matte powder. The main purpose of using a matte powder is to create a barrier between your makeup and the oils on your skin. To apply the powder, you can use a fluffy brush or you can use a sponge and you want to dip the brush into the powder and dust off the excess and then using that powder on the brush, you want to just gently sweep that and press it right underneath your eyes to set your whole under eye, especially where you get the most oil. You also want to place the powder on your T-zone area and your chin area. These are the areas of the skin that tend to be the most oiliest. Using a little bit of that powder on the brush, I like to sweep it around my eyebrows as well, just to get rid of any shininess on my eyebrows. Sometimes when you use a matte powder all over your face, you can leave a really powdery appearance that doesn't look natural on the skin. To counteract this, it's a great idea to use a hydrating setting spray. It helps to melt the powdery look to make your makeup look more skin-like. So a really good mist to use is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Setting Spray. 
Not only does this hydrating setting spray give your makeup a natural finish, it has really great moisturizing properties that prevent your skin from feeling tight or dry as you have your makeup on. It can also keep your makeup in place by acting as a gentle barrier against environmental factors that might affect the longevity of your makeup. So when I want to make sure that my makeup looks flawless and not powdery, I like to drench my skin with this setting spray. So you want to use a very generous amount. This way I can ensure that all that powder that I've applied on my skin gets coated with the setting spray and gets really soaked up. This is going to really help blend and meld your makeup with the spray, creating a more skin-like finish. And whatever excess you have on your skin, you want to go in with a clean sponge and just press that onto your skin. You want to lightly do this so that the makeup does not separate. This is going to ensure that you're absorbing any excess product from the setting spray. And if done really carefully and lightly, your makeup should not separate. And if you do this, but you still feel like your skin is still dry, then you want to go in with another coat of the setting spray to really help hydrate and lock in that hydration. As the day goes on, your skin produces oil, which is usually very normal. And this can make your makeup transfer because of those oils. And that is where blotten powder comes in. So blotten powder is a clear slash white powder that helps to soak up oils on your skin. So when you apply blotten powder, it helps make your makeup look less shiny and more balanced. It's always best to apply this powder around your pores before moving on to the next step. This helps in preventing the pores from producing excessive oil. To apply the blotten powder, I like to use a fluffy brush, mainly the same brush that I use for the setting powder. Get a little bit of that powder and just press that around the areas where my pores are because those are the areas Areas where oils mainly come from and then a little bit on the forehead and on my eyelids if you struggle a lot with laugh lines I would also press that blotting powder around that area to help prevent separation from the laugh lines and this is the only way that I usually touch up my makeup throughout the day is only using a blotting powder no other type of powder so by doing this before moving on to the next step I'm giving my pores a little extra help in preventing the oils from peeking through so because this is a clear powder that doesn't have any color is not going to affect or change the appearance of your makeup but it's going to help prevent transfer because it's a clear powder so when I use anything white and I press onto my skin the only type of powder that appears there is that clear powder lastly to help lock all this makeup in to completely completely prevent any transfer is using a good finishing setting spray now I know this can be a little bit confusing because it's hard to know the difference between a setting spray and a finishing spray so a finishing setting spray would usually have long-lasting claims such as matte finish, dewy finish, long-lasting, sweat proof, transfer proof, waterproof. Those are what you usually use as the last step of your routine. Compared to a hydrating setting spray, which we usually use to help meld the makeup with your skin, it's supposed to help lock in hydration to help create a natural and skin-like finish. So a really, really good mist that I've been loving lately is the LYS Natural Finish setting spray. So to use the finishing setting spray, you want to hold it a few inches away from your face and mist it all over your skin and you want to allow it to dry out completely without touching it. This is going to make sure that the setting spray is working its magic without interfering with its placement. But remember, if you extremely sweat or have extreme oiliness, then you definitely have to watch this sweat proof makeup tutorial where I share some very detailed step-by-step -step tips to achieve a sweat proof long lasting makeup look. Okay. LJ, welcome to a channel where it's popping.